Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph with the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards are 3-1. and one. What a huge win last week against Monmouth. And offensively, we're going to talk today about these wide receivers and how they are becoming better in sync with uh, Dean DeNoble and the quarterbacks. They are doing a great job. We're going to talk about the pass tree. This week, it's Bucknell. We've always been able to take... Uh, Kara Bucknell in the flats, create a lot of space between our wide receivers and their defensive backs. So today we're going to talk about the pass tree. We're going to talk about staying in sync. We're going to talk about the practice that's gone into this. And we're going to talk about pre-snap reads and maybe a little bit of RPO, which I think Lafayette can get away with this week. So if you look at the basic pass tree, you're looking at obviously a tree going straight up. So there's your nine route down the sideline. You can run a slant, which is basically your one route. You can run the speed out, which is your two out. Okay, your number two. So if you break it in, you can come back on a three, which is a curl. You can take it to the outside, which I normally call a five. And a seven is the corner route. The nine we talked about, the eight route across the middle, and then that six route, which is your bend. So if you look at that, that is your passing tree. Now Lafayette's done a great job with the slant. We saw the nine route and the fade, the back shoulder fades caught. So that's all in sync and practice. That's what Dean DeNoble and Schuster have done with these wide receivers. Guys like Elijah Stewart, obviously you see Persing coming on, Carasia, and then you get the big guy Mason Gilbert involved as well. So this passing tree, the nine has been good. The slant has been good. The outs have been good. Some more routes we have to add in, that curl route that speed out route, maybe getting somebody on the eight route to the post and then getting and working the middle of the field. Now this doesn't have to come from the six route. This can come off the RPO and releasing the tight end, the big Mason Gilbert down the middle. You can do the same thing on this side. RPO, put the backer in conflict, get the tight end down the middle. You can do the RPO on this side, keep that guy in. RPO, put the safety in conflict, run your slant, run your speed out, run your combination routes. So the passing tree is something Lafayette has gotten better with. They're in sync, they're practicing it, they're getting better at the back shoulder. Uh, uh, receivers need to do a little bit better job getting on top or stacking defensive backs. If we can't blow the top off, then we're going to show that throw that back shoulder. We can also throw the comeback route, a route that can be used with how well we've done the nine route, use it on the comeback route. So again, staying in sync, practicing pre-snap reads in here for Dean DeNoble, understanding two deep, three deep coverages. Bucknell's always put a lot of guys in the box to stop the run, and you can be assured to stop Jamar Curtis, they're going to do that. That should open up everything on the outside for the wide receivers and the RPO game. Lafayette goes to 4-1 at 3.30. Join us.